Hey, it's me, Tony Lee. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas. Disclaimer, <laughs> I'm kidding. But really, I didn't ask for anything for Christmas this year. And these were just the presents that I ended up receiving. I am so grateful that I received these presents. I literally did, didn't ask for anything. So it was a shock to get them. And I think that's one of the the greatest things about not asking for anything and just having people have to get you know a gift or you know they don't have to obviously but them having to come up with their own gift to give you instead of you just saying I don't want this I don't want this but anyways I'm gonna start off with the stockings so Griffin and I did our own stockings and then we went over to his parents house and Griffin's mom had a stocking for both of us um, and that's also the other thing <laughs> our gifts where we have a couple gifts that we got together. And so the first one was a trash can, a really nice trash can. We're very, very happy. It comes with a recycling bin and then like the normal trash bin. It's a nice little lever. And then she also got us a vacuum cleaner. And so, yeah, you just press the button once and it's zoom. And then it has the higher speed. Very, very nice. Very excited. We did not have one and it's cordless as well which is nice and it came with a bunch of accessories like this little doodad i don't know exactly what we do with him uh, excuse me this brush i think this is for like lint or something oh Ooh, that goes down it's a nice uh, crack getter <laughs> and two others but yeah so those were the two big things that we got now i'm gonna get into the stockings so Griffin got me this cute little bamboo um, scrubber thing to get in the pot. So when you have a pot that has something stuck on it, you can use this and scrape it off instead of using like your nail. He got me a stasher bag to, can literally, it's a stasher bag. You put your shit in it. <laughs> and I didn't know this. It's woman owned. They do the 1% for the planet. Um, but the cool thing about this is you can put it in the microwave, the dishwasher, you know. Griffin got me this tongue scraper. And I'm really excited. I got him one too, so now we both have one. And he got me these plant-based hair ties. Um, no plastic. I'm really excited to use this. Hand warmers, toe warmers. Griff got me another sponge to scrub the pots and dishes with and he got me a new planner i'm very excited about this um, start planning out the new year Yay. <laughs> hopefully it's not like this one <laughs> and then he got me a near and native candle this one is the winter woods it smells really really good Courtney got me in stocking there these cute little mini utensils this one's the best it's good for oatmeal and she also got she got Griffin and I a ton of reusable like produce bags all different sizes um, multiple of the same size Crystal got me a cute Libra book. Um, this is my, you know, astrology sign, but yeah. And then, oh, she also got me these ET, they are sandwich bags, um, reusable sandwich bags, very cool. Yeah, I don't know exactly how you like wash them. I'm going to be really interested to figure that out. Oh, we also got and the stocking shoe glue, essential. Need this in your life to repair your shoes so that, you know, you can always rewear them. And then she also got me, we used one this morning, but the Swedish dish cloth. Um, these were printed in Seattle, but yeah, you just, oh, machine washable, compostable. That's freaking cool. Wow. Use them instead of paper towels. A bitch sick. So this is <laughs> vegan um, chopstick. I've never heard of it, but I'm really excited to <laughs> try it out. And that was all for the stocking. Yeah, very good stuff. Like, 
really good. <laughs> I was not expecting it. But now we can start on the presents that I got. Um, well, actually, no. So let me, there was one more stocking gift that I got. And it has to go with this present that I got that Griffin gave me. Let me show you. I got these seeds in my stocking. And we had a garden in March, like with COVID and everything. And I was like, oh, okay, like this is cute. We'll be able to replant them, yada, yada, yada. Whatever, they just, I just was like, oh, cute seeds. I love seeds, I love growing things. But what I didn't know was what I was gonna be getting. And that was a garden kit that I could use in a second. So I need to set this up. I'm very, very excited. I cried when I opened it because I've been looking at them online. I really didn't even, I might've mentioned it to Griffin once or twice. Not really, something that I, I asked for, obviously. So when I opened it, I cried for like 10 minutes because I couldn't believe it. I get to grow life in my home. I am so excited. So yeah, we will see how this goes, obviously. You'll be seeing the process. That was the huge thing that I, I literally had no idea. I didn't, I had no idea I was getting any of this, but that one was big. And Griffin got me a headlamp as well. I I had asked for this, but I didn't think he would get it for me for Christmas. I thought we would just like go out and buy ourselves headlamps. But this bad boy is bright. I don't know if you can see the lighting change. And then it also has this doodad. He also got me this power bank that is solar powered. So you can just put it in the sun and it charges up and then you charge your phone. So if you're going hiking or something, camping, just put this out in the sun all day and then you'll have um, a place to charge your phone. Griffin said I have one more present coming. Um, so we'll also see what that is, but he got me a Echo Dot stand. I'm really excited we keep it in the kitchen and it's like pretty neutral, but this will be nice to have. So then we can actually like display it so we can hear it throughout the whole 500 square feet we have here. Not that you can already. Oh, oh I forgot to mention, Courtney got me these mushroom, the four zomatic mushroom tea uh, in creamy turmeric and chocolate cinnamon. They're gonna be really good to try. Yeah. This Eddie Bauer blanket—it's very, very soft. On this side, it'll be good to go camping with and staying warm through the winter, you know. Then I also got tofu press, baby. I'm very excited to use this. So instead of using like plates and pans to press out your tofu, this is literally made for it. So you just. Put the tofu right in and screw the bad boys down. Um, calendar. I think, I believe she wrote it on Etsy is what she said. So I'll have to try and find it. But it's very cute. It has um, some good national parks on the back. Acadia. We've been to Zion, Joshua Tree, Great Smoky Mountains. We want to go to all of them eventually, but... Yeah, this is going to be good to look out to get inspired to uh, plan another trip to go and do it. And then what a sweet angel she got me from East Pine Plant Shop. She got me a string of pearl succulent. So in the little iron stand. So cute. And she got me the mister. So I'm really, really excited about this. I need to water them. I need to fill this up and water it. And then also a candle. This is Juniper and Spruce, another near native. But, and she, how cute is this? Like freaking adorable, honestly. Connor, so I get to be a part of the sibling Christmas <laughs> and Connor had me at Owen, but Connor caught it himself. He got me these coffee filters, reusable coffee filters so that we don't have to continuously use the ones that we have, they are compostable, which is great, but I'm pretty excited to just use these um, over and over again. And he also got me the same from the same company, but these are just like food wraps, put your avocado, like put over a plate. 
Um, again, I don't know how I'm gonna clean them. I don't know how you do that, but we will figure it out. And then also, this is a sponge, okay? I might take this camping. It, you just get it wet and then it turns into a sponge, which is freaking sick. And then also a vegan dishcloth. This will be good when like, got to scrub on and get rid of any crud on the pans and shit. Griffin's mom also got us a Shackley starter kit. So Shackley is just like a very good clean company. Like try and be non-toxic, you know, not test on animals. This bottle was made from 25% post-consumer recycled plastic. It's pretty amazing. But she got us a starter kit um, from them. And so what you do is you have this basic H2 and you get these three bottles. And this one is the degreaser, we have the windows, and we have the all-purpose. And each of them, you use that basic H you just apply different, different amounts of water um, to each of them, which is pretty cool. It came with um, this rag. It's a like micro window cloth and then a sponge. She also got us with it this like heavy duty scrub paste that will literally, she said, get anything off. So hype about that. And I think the last couple things are books. So Griffin got me two books and then Griffin's mom and his sister got him some books that I wanna show. But Griffin got me the Kiss the Ground book. This is by Josh, uh, I think it's Tickle, Tickle. I don't know, I'm probably saying that so wrong, sorry. But it's from the documentary Kiss the Ground. So I'm really excited to read this and learn more about soil health. Along with that, Griffin got me Dirt to Soil, and so this is by Gabe Brown. He is a regenerative agricultural farmer. He started out being conventional, and then he didn't yield a profit for like three years. Decided to switch to regenerative and no-till cover cropping, you know, bringing this ecosystem back to life. And he now has a profitable farm and, you know, lives and loves life. So I believe that he is the farmer in Kiss the Ground. They have, they talk about him. And so, yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I started and he talks about just like the things that he's learned to do and how he really changed his farm and changed the soil and how he's continuing to protect it and move forward. So it's really cool. And then the next book Griffin's mom got us is Simply Living Well. It's a guide to creating a natural low waste home. This is perfect. One of my goals for 2021 is to be more minimal, low waste. So this will be good to use and look at. And then she got us the no-till organic vegetable farmer. Oh yeah, he, okay, that's what I thought. So this, the Daniel Mays runs Grill Farm and it's in Scarborough, Maine. He uh, has been using the no-till method since 2011 and it's a pretty damn good profitable farm so it's doing well michael phelps just kidding it's michael phillips but yeah really excited to read this learning more about the no-till nation <laughs> she also got him start your farm so this is how you can start a nice good and Griffin's sister got him this vegan air fryer book where literally all of the recipes are things you can make in an air fryer. Sweet miso glazed Brussels sprouts, spring rolls, eggplant. I got myself a pair of boots a while ago. I got a gift card for being outside from Allison. I think it's Whittles. Whitt Whitley's, Whitley's, um, but these are vegan sustainable outdoor boots with awesome tread. They are unbelievable. I've been wearing them the past two days. They're made in Portugal, like I said, like they make them. It is a nice, nice boot. So I think that's everything I got for Christmas. <laughs> I am utterly grateful. Like I said, I really am blown away. Uh, 
what all I got because they didn't ask for any of it. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Maybe you got some inspiration of things that you want to buy if you got Christmas money or you just see something that's cool that you've never never thought of before. Maybe you can ask for it next year or you have a birthday or save up your money and buy it for yourself. Anyways, I am gonna log off and I'll talk to you guys next time.